Well, here we are on a duck boat. The origin of the uh, name duck comes from these boats once being used to ferry ducks from the harbour and the boats in the harbour up the river uh, to places like Boat Quay. Now, there is a lady on board who will tell us a little bit about the little tour that we're on. The area to your right used to be the site of Riverside Village, a plague-infested squatter's colony which housed the seedy underbelly of opium dens, brothels and secret societies. Addicts, ladies of the night and gangsters jostled for space in this once dangerous, mysterious place. But today, the building Riverside Point sits on the historical foundations of that notorious village. No longer dangerous and seedy, but a delightful waterfront dining oasis that boasts its very own microbrewery. Perhaps you'd like to return by foot to explore all these fun possibilities. Did you know that the paths along the Singapore River make up one continuous saluting promenade that connects everything you see along the riverbanks? Take a leisurely stroll and soak in the atmosphere along the six kilometer promenade that flanks both sides of the river. As you take in the sights and sounds, you'll be comfortably shaded by lush greenery and definitely tempted by the many shops and cafes along the way. Now I have to say that it really is a lovely promenade, particularly at night time, and we really should be doing this boat trip up the river uh, at night because you get the wonderful lights and the fun atmosphere on Boat Quay. Now we had uh, dinner at that uh, restaurant with the Blue Awning. Now the food was all right, it wasn't the uh, most wondrous food in the world but uh, the atmosphere along Boat Quay is really very nice and lots of lights, people having fun, hawkers trying to sell you stuff, the lights of the city all around you. The night we went down there there was a laser light show above the old museum and somewhere in the distance I think it was Billy Joel playing from some convention that we were uh, privy to uh, that was going on across the harbour. On your right is Boat Key, and it spreads to colourful, quaint shop houses. It was completed in 1842 and is Singapore's very first key. At its peak in the 1860s, Boat Key handled three quarters of Singapore's total shipping business. The sheltered riverbanks made excellent loading and unloading places. Back then, the whole river was chock-a-block with thousands of boats transporting a whole million of goods to be traded by the merchants who had set up shop in that row of buildings on the bank. Some of those goods included seafood, spices, and rubber. The precious cargo was shouldered across gangplanks by immigrant laborers known as coolies, whose blood, sweat, and tears formed the very backbone of our nation's rise to prosperity. Wonder why all the shop houses are concentrated on just one embankment of Boat Key? Well, legend has it that the Chinese immigrants chose to set up home only on the south bank of the river. You'll notice how the riverbank curves just like the belly of a cock. In Chinese culture, this majestic fish is an auspicious symbol of good fortune and a great place to store wealth. These first immigrants believe that this part of the Singapore River was where prosperity and wealth could be found. That's also why many banks and businesses started up here and eventually developed this area into our current central business district. Where once boats lined the water's edge, today the banks of Boat Key are lined with shop houses turned into restaurants and pubs. The facades of the Boat Key shop houses have been retained, and their unique architectural styles give the district a distinct flavor. Notice how the shop houses are of varying heights? Long ago, the signal the owner's wealth. In other words, the higher the building, the wealthier the owner. Perhaps these traditional beliefs have extended till today. Just take a look at the tall skyscrapers of Singapore's financial district towering over the Boat Key shop houses. This is a perfect place for snapping pictures, so enjoy the 360 degree views and drink in Boat Key's unique blend of traditional Asian values set against a modern and progressive backdrop. See how the shop houses form a charming contrast of Singapore's developing years against the skyline of a new Singapore.
Standing tall and majestic is the exclusive Fullerton Hotel, which blends the elegance of old world charm with every modern convenience. Built in 1928, lots of paper pushing went on behind the hotel's splendid columns before its glamorous makeover. Its facade is a masterpiece of neoclassical grandeur, which belies its much stuffier original occupants, the Chamber of Commerce offices and the General Post Office, from which mail was transported along the Singapore River to and from ships. Since the 1950s, this was also the site of many political campaign rallies, but even longer before that, it was occupied by Fort Fullerton, built to defend the town of the South and Singapore River. This promontory to your right used to be home to the Mer Lion, Singapore's half lion, half fish icon. The Malayan stood guard here at the river mouth for 30 years before it was hauled by barge to its new home in Bay in 2002. As we move our way out into Marina Bay, you'll be able to see the Malayan for yourself and hear all about its story. It really is a very relaxing boat ride and you do get to see quite a lot of Singapore city from the river really um, and look you see in the distance the uh, the building that looks like sort of cricket stumps it's the Marina Bay Sands and uh, it's an incredible sort of shopping center come hotel with bars and clubs um, and a marvelous restaurant with incredible views across the harbor and back across the round the city of Singapore it's just incredible we're just underneath the Esplanade Drive these bridges are great. I'd love to have been an architect who built bridges. I've met a couple and they seem really happy. Anyway, somewhere around here, she's mentioned something to do with a merlion, which is the sort of symbol of Singapore that you see around the place. Oh, I think I can see it over there. Here it comes. Where is it? Where's that mer lion? The lion's head represents the lion spotted by the legendary Sanghu Lao Tama, while its fish tail symbolizes Tamasic and Singapore's humble beginnings as a fishing village. Measuring 8.6 meters high and weighing 70 tons, the lion stood on retail land looking out to sea. She attracts millions of visitors a year who make the trip to Malayan Park to photograph this world-famous icon at the new home right here in scenic Marina Bay. Take a peek behind the Malayan and you'll see a baby Malayan. Believe it or not, its scales are made from pieces of porcelain repurposed with spoons, bowls, and plates. Here it is. Can't see the little statue behind, but apparently there is one. So really just sort of cruise along and enjoy the ride. Some nice buildings, fun looking boats, it's quite a calm bay that they've created with a sort of dam at the entrance to the river. You can see the uh, central business district, the sort of banking 
area. And later on we'll be catching the Marina Bay Sands shopping mega complex. It's incredible. That's that building that looks like the cricket stumps. Really some uh, pretty impressive buildings. I like this little one here. Looks like a UFO. We see the Marina Bay Tower. So you uh, continue along and enjoy this uh, nice little flat piece of water until it uh, sort of takes you to the other side, the, the harbour, uh, where there are all sorts of wonders awaiting you. Shops and promenades and And I do like the shape of these boats, and there's a guy in there having a snooze. Pretty hard life, I'm sure. It'd be fun to be a ferry driver up the Singapore River. The buildings are pretty impressive, and it's a lovely little city, really. The 
on the other side of the uh, the cricket stumps, we have the uh, the wonderful Bay Gardens with sort of huge alien-looking greenhouses. And then you have the wonderful sort of view over the city with the thunderstorm rolling in. Incredible. And a five-star hotel with an infinity pool, you know, bars and all sorts of uh, incredible views from the restaurants. And the building that we uh, talked about, the cricket stumps, <laughs> it's actually designed to look like a ship. And we have looming above us the amazing Art Science Museum. Look, it looks like a bunch of bananas or a baseball catcher's mitt. It's incredible. The Singapore Flyer, another amazing structure, similar to the London Eye. We didn't make that either, unfortunately, but I understand you can have dinner in the individual cabins, I suppose you call them, on the Ferris wheel. We float casually past the Singapore float at Marina Bay, clearly a uh, sporting arena. The incredible Esplanade Theatre appears in front of us, looking like a durian fruit. It really is brilliant. And we now see the promenade on the northern side of the Singapore River with the Civilizations Museum. And that's all we have time for at the moment. I hope you've enjoyed the tour.